Hey, so I have some real special uh, video for you today. We have some wall breaker gameplay updated for the update. Uh, did card that is coming out soon. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This day, this very day, I have some updated wall breaker gameplay that I'm gonna get into and show you guys um, that I think is gonna be beneficial for you guys because I'm gonna cover the top three, what I think are the top three combos that you can be using with the wall breaker itself. We're gonna jump into some battles with the trainers here, see if I can't uh, pull out some W's, which I should be able to, and kind of show you what I think would be the best way to implement the wall breakers into your play style or into your decks if you are going to use them. Um, unfortunately, obviously, it is an epic card, which is going to take a little bit of a time to level up, but don't you fret. You can do it, I promise you. And I don't think it's going to be a huge difference uh, the higher level you get it. The hit points aren't going to make that much difference um, unless obviously unless you're a max player playing like level 1 wall breakers. That's going to be or level, what do they start out, epic, level 9 wall breakers. That's going to be a little bit detrimental. But let's hop into it because I kind of want to see uh, how well, <laughs> let's actually, let's see <laughs> these star levels here. Um, let's see what it looks like. I'll, we're going to play with them all gold, okay? So let me hop into the first battle here because I want to see, I want to show you guys what I think is going to be the best, the absolute best uh, way to use the wall breaker. Now, in this deck, of course, I have the Valkyrie. I think these are three solid decks, too, that you guys can use. I've kind of made up myself. Um, obviously, we have the Valkyrie here. Um, we're just going to garbage her pretty much. She's pretty much garbage. Um, we have the Valkyrie and we have the guards, which I think are going to be very useful. Um, this guy's just spamming some troops, which I get. I get that. But I think the number one way, watch this move, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go Miner, Wall Breaker. This is going to be the most useful way for you to get your Wall Breakers to the tower. Check out the amount of damage that that does to uh, tower itself. Look at the amount of damage that that Miner and the Wall Breakers are doing. Took that tower down all the way to 1,000 HP. That's 2,000 HP off that tower. And I think a lot of times, your opponent is going to be able to catch the miner, but then they won't have anything to stop the wall breakers because they're all going to be focused on that miner itself and they're not going to do anything about it, okay? So I think that's going to be one of your power plays. That's going to be one of your best plays that you can actually do to use the wall breakers in a deck. So keep that in mind. Miner, wall breakers. Miner, wall breakers. Let's see how much damage we can do this tower over here. Miner, wall breakers. Check this combo out. Obviously, we do have the Valkyrie tanking for <laughs> everything as well. But look how much damage that did. Oh, we still have one wall breaker alive. We're going to throw a crappy furnace down <laughs> to see what we can do here. Keep in mind that the other thing that you don't want to be doing when you're using your wall breakers is you don't want to put a slow moving tank in front of the wall breakers very badly. Now, let me tell you why. Because. The problem that you're going to run up against is they're going to throw down some troops to be fighting your tank or splashing your tank, unfortunately, heaven forbid. And if they do that, then those troops are going to be able to take out the wall breakers and the wall breaker is going to be basically rendered useless and you're going to be wasting elixir left and right. So if you say, let's say you throw a Valkyrie down, throw some wall breakers down, oh crap, Valkyrie went the other way. That was a horrible play on my part to show you guys the example that I was trying to get forth. Actually, they're going to do a lot of damage to the king. Oh, they just got the king down. <laughs> All right, I'm going to push out my trophies here and then we're going to get into the next battle and show you guys a little bit different deck. So this next deck obviously features some quick moving things that I think are going to be excellent with the wall breakers themselves. I think we're going to need a little bit of a harder uh, trainer. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to get a lot of shots off, but I'm going to try my darndest 
dang it. Trainer Cheddar is legit. He knows what he's doing. So, all legendary. Trainer Cheddar, he knows what's happening here. So, he's going to start out with Love Hound. And fortunately for Trainer Cheddar here, I don't have a lot of... So, I'm going to fireball that, actually take all that action out. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, we got to get one shot off. Oh, wow. He is just... Okay, I forgot how awesome he is. So this is what you want to do. You want to get your Battle Ram, and then you want to get your Wall Breakers right behind the Battle Ram. And I bet you Trainer Cheddar can't even stop that push. Not even Trainer Cheddar. Check that out, dude. Check out that massive awesomeness. We're going to blast all that away. And I think we took a tower down on Trainer Cheddar. Dude, that's a power push if you ask me. <laughs> I think that's really good. So let's let's back off on the trainer a little bit. Let's get a different trainer in here because Trainer Cheddar's legit. He knows what he's doing. Okay, so now we have the same deck against Trainer Diamond. I think he's going to be not quite as hard as Trainer Cheddar. So maybe I can show you a few more moves here. Um, and I did put these cycle cards in here, but Skeleton's obviously not great. But our main feature that we're going to try and do here is obviously we want to go Lumberjack. Uh, right here. That makes sense. Ooh, that's actually a really good play. Nice job, Trainer Diamond. He kind of knows what he's doing here. But you're gonna want to always use, if at all possible, the Wall Breakers on a nice counter push or behind a fast moving, like, tank. Like, uh, in this deck, I'm featuring the Battle Ram. I think the Battle Ram is going to rock your socks off in this deck. So let's throw, yep, we're going to go other lane. We're going to go like this. He may go Balloon now, I'm not sure. Oh no, so he's just going to hold off on his Balloon. He's just going to go, so watch that. So Battle Ram Wall Breakers will take out an entire tower. That is insane. Next push, we're going to try the Lumberjack and the Wall Breakers together because I think that's going to be a really good push as well. So let's go here. Skeleton's up here. Oh, he did raise that up. That was actually an interesting play. I like that move. So we do have the princess behind as well. So keep in mind, any of these pushes are seven elixir. So lumberjack with wall breakers, seven elixir. So he's gonna poison them. They do make it out of the poison and get to the tower. And that is an entire tower as well. Holy cow, guys. That is insane. So I thought these were gonna be a little bit underpowered, but like, look at these combos that we're using here. I think they may actually stand a chance. Uh, what was that low battery stuff? I don't use Apple products much, but that was just annoying. That came up, that was like such a disturbance to my gameplay right now. That makes me sad. Uh, anyway, so I think they actually might be a little more powered. <laughs> they have, might have actually some potential here. Ooh, watch this move next coming up. So I'm gonna start a Lumberjack clear in the back. I think that's going to be a nice move. Watch this. So Lumberjack clear in the back. And then we're going to go Battle Ram up here with a set of Wall Breakers. And hopefully we're going to be able to rock all that and get all that to the tower. I will go ahead and snowball the crap out of that witch just for fun. <laughs> I took that out so fast. So fast. Okay, so let's get into combo number three right now. Three is using a deck that I've used quite a bit, obviously. It is a Hog Rider deck. Uh, Hog Rider is going to be, I think, super legit with the Wall Breakers. You see a lot of people spam the bridge with uh, Hog Rider. They spam the bridge with Hog Rider, Battle Ram. And I think the wall breakers are gonna fit best in those decks where you have that spam, bridge spam element. It's unfortunate because I know a lot of people are hating on it right now because nobody wants bridge spam back. But we're gonna just go for it right here. We're gonna go wall breaker, or sorry, hog rider wall breakers on the other side. He's gonna poison. That's not gonna do anything. That was a horrible move on Trainer Diamond's part. I don't know who coded this guy, but that was just an absolutely horrible move and a bad read. He just should have saw that coming. I don't know what he was trying to think. But my goal here is to not let Trainer Diamond touch the towers with this deck. I think I can do it. I really think I can do it. I can do it. Oh crap, maybe I can. What kind of move is that? Who puts a balloon right into a Tesla? Who like does that, honestly? Oh crap, oh crap. No, no, oh crap. Okay, so, okay, I thought he was gonna touch the tower for a second there. He didn't, he didn't, we're, we, we're Gucci. Okay, we're Gucci. So I'm gonna throw Musketeer down this side, just for defense, because I do not want any damage on my towers. And we're all gonna go 
hog rider wall breakers now since we do have a little bit of oh you cheater he like heard me he's like dude i can touch his towers let's do direct damage that doesn't count direct damage doesn't count okay so we're gonna stop this push right here with a fatty tesla that makes sense um okay here we go <laughs> so let's see obviously we smoke this guy maybe we try trainer cheddar with this deck what do you guys think Let's try Chainer Tether with this deck. Just a second. Okay, so we're trying this deck on Trainer Chatter. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You guys know just as well as I do what's gonna happen. We did manage to get a tower with the other deck. Let's see if we can do it with this deck. Uh, let's pump up. Uh, okay, so obviously we're just gonna log that. We're gonna get that out of the way. That's a good move on our part. He is going with his all legendaries classic gameplay, classic Trainer Cheddar. He thinks he's so funny. So. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna have to zap that. Oh, that's obviously a zap. Oh crap. I love you too. Oh my 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 little girl's down here. So we're gonna go boom boom. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. I just wanna take one tower. Just one tower. Log that away. Don't let Sparky get a shot off. Don't let Sparky get two shots off, please. Okay, so we lost. Okay, so the other deck did a little bit better with Chainer Chatter. Okay. Anyway. Thank you guys for dropping by the video. Try those power combos out. As soon as you guys unlock the wall breakers, let me know how they do for you. I think they're gonna work good in the- Yeah, I do have pockets. Thanks for mentioning that. Do you want up here? Yeah. Come here. Look at her. She's such a princess. Look at this. Blue, because she's been eating blueberries like crazy. Look at those blueberries. Say smile. Smile. Say hi. She doesn't know who she's talking to because there's a camera right here and that's it. So, bridge spam, huge, obviously. Uh, the hog rider decks, obviously going to be huge in. So instead of using your hog rider goblins combo, I would use your hog rider uh, wall breaker combo. Going to be awesome. So try in those two decks, those three combos with the, oh, the minor, the minor. Minor wall breaker is going to be huge because you're going to get an instant thousand damage on the towers almost every time. I'm just saying. Anyway, thank you guys for dropping by the video today. Good luck unlocking the wall breaker. Take it easy and good luck. Peace. Ugh.